Hello, my name is Warren Hill and I'm a product specialist at Gasco. Gasco, in an effort to better educate our customers and add additional value, has developed a best practices training series. Our intentions are to better explain, better educate, and to ensure a helpful understanding of what gas regulators are and discuss their normal operation. Gasco represents three major manufacturers of combustion gas regulators. They are Census Metering Systems, Pietro Fiorentini, and Maxitrol. In this series, we hope to answer any questions that you might have. If you have questions or require additional information, please feel free to contact Gasco toll free at 1 877 427 7347 or through our website at gascoonline.com. In this gas regulator education segment, we will be discussing common regulator venting issues. Venting requirements and codes vary from state to state, county to county, and in many areas, suburb to suburb. So always follow local code requirements in venting regulators. Vents not only provide a leak path for the gas when a regulator fails, it also allows the diaphragm to breathe and function properly. If a vent is restricted, a gas regulator's performance will be adversely affected and tend to be very sluggish, hunt, or not properly control the downstream pressure. With venting, it is not the amount of air that is being moved through the vent line. It is that the air has to be moved effortlessly with no restriction of movement of the diaphragm. All manufacturers are hesitant to put anything in writing regarding regulator venting. But when you start applying math to the pressure drop aspect of the line venting, the following can be used as guidelines assuming a one inch regulator vent connection. Never reduce the vent piping size from that of the connection on the regulator. The NFPA code states that the regulator vent line must be connected to the regulator vent connection no smaller than what the manufacturer's connection size is. So all measurements start at the regulator vent connection. So from 0 to 15 feet, no increase in vent line is required. So from 15 to 30 feet, we increase one nominal line size to inch and a quarter. From 30 to 45 feet, we're going to increase two nominals, or an inch and a half. From 45 to 60, we're going to increase three nominal line sizes to a two inch vent line size. Once you reach three nominal line size increases, you hit diminishing returns. Further increases in the vent line size will not make a difference. Depending on whose fitting data sheet you look at, a 90 degree elbow can account for as much as five linear feet of pipe. It doesn't take many elbows to force you into a larger vent line size. The larger vent line should run from the outdoors all the way back to the regulator and be reduced at the regulator vent connection. Do not use excessive long runs or amounts of fittings in the plumbing vent lines. Vent lines must be run using rigid materials such as black iron, copper, stainless tubing, PVC or plastics are not allowed. Multiple regulators should never be vented together or share a common vent. If a regulator fails, the gas being vented from the regulator will take the path of least resistance. When regulators are plumbed together, that path of least resistance could very well be out the failed regulator, into the common vent, and into the vent connection of the other regulator. This will force the other regulator open, putting high volume and high pressure gas downstream, creating a very dangerous situation. Always turn the outlet of the vent line downward so as to limit the effects of outdoor weather and debris. Install a bug screen on the vent outlet to prevent insects from nesting the line and ensure that the bug screens are never painted over. When a regulator is vented to the side, a vent elbow is strongly suggested to get the vent facing the ground. This will help to keep snow and rain from being blown into the regulator. In venting to a roof in an area that commonly gets winter snowfall, make sure that the vent discharge is sufficiently above the roof line to account for a snow depth. Local codes will also address this height. The final termination of the vent line should always be turned to face the ground. Gas venting is not an exact science, and each job that you encounter could have different scenarios. And so if you have any questions or any concerns in regarding gas venting, please contact Gasco. 
If you have questions or require additional information, please feel free to contact Gaskell toll free at 1-877-427-7347 or through our website at gaskellonline.com.